Hey, 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 what's going on guys? This is The Finisher, and you're watching another episode of Attack of the B-Team. Hope you guys are doing well on this, um, uh, hopefully extended vacation for you guys. A long weekend here with Memorial Day. Um, just, uh, uh kicking at the house, uh, playing some, uh, obviously playing some Minecraft, uh, getting the pool set up for the kiddos, and, and, uh, getting ready for summer, so... Uh, anyways, uh, I had to do a few things um, different on this one, but we'll get to that here in just a second. Um, I did want to uh, inform everybody. Um, I did a tutorial on a tree farm, uh, swing by my channel. Uh, hopefully, uh, um, get a chance to to watch it. Tell me how bad or how good I did. Um, but we, uh, I had hired an announcer um, for uh, uh, this the this um, series. Yeah, by the name of Creepy Johnny, um, I just wanted to inform everybody, um, he didn't make it. Uh, he didn't make the cut. He is now on the Hall of Shame, and uh, we're looking for somebody else. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Maybe we can get somebody in here and spice things up a little bit, uh, so you don't have to listen to my boring and monotonous voice uh, throughout these episodes. So, uh, Anyways, um, let's get started here. Uh, and what we're going to be doing on this one, um, and when I mentioned I had to change some things around, uh, we had some people that might be wanting to play with us on the server, so uh, I was just playing single player as I was starting these videos off, uh, getting used to trying to do it, you know, that was, like I said, that's, that's all new for me, so anyways, we started uh, our own server, got my, uh, got my server up and running, uh, so we have a, a building here for a smeltery and we'll be doing our blacksmithing and all that good stuff in here uh still needs a lot of work but uh, not bad for for a pretty quick build um but we're still learning so i love the micro blocks you can really do a lot of of uh, neat and interesting things with them uh yet they are again so tedious to place uh but good stuff uh good stuff um over here is going to be where we're going to be starting our fortress uh, I've got some cool ideas in mind for it, so we'll see if those can come to fruition, fruition or not. Um, but I did cheat a little bit when I started out. Um, I played for probably about 5-10 minutes on this map and actually found a bat. Um, and then I flew around and, and found uh, this tree and just hollowed it out rather than make a uh, uh, first base or whatever you want to call it. I just hollowed this bad boy out and uh, that works really well. Um, but anyways, we got some cool looking uh, scenery coming up, so hopefully we can build our walls, build a nice little kingdom. And, oh, I did want to show you, um, I hadn't seen too many people uh, use them, and maybe that's a sign, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm going to use, I'm hoping to use these fantasy blocks for our castle, or our fortress, or kingdom, or whatever. Um, they got a kind of a cool look to them, and you can also put them in your chisel, not the nugget, and you have a lot of options with them. Uh, so you got all these gold ornate blocks and and uh, different bricks. They're they're pretty sweet looking, and I think if we can uh, get the right uh, accent pieces to go with them, they'll look pretty neat. Uh, oh, by the way, to do those. Again, I haven't uh, I haven't really seen anybody use them. Um, there's a couple different blocks. Let's see. There's a couple different blocks I found kind of goofing off. Um, one of them I was trying to make factory blocks, but I put an iron ingot and then stone going around it, and that gives you these cool uh, futuristic armor plating blocks, and you can put those in your chisel as well and. Uh, that will give you, you know, I think it's eight options total or twelve options, something like that. Uh, that and they got some some real neat looking uh, blocks to build with that. So you have that option. The fantasy blocks are made this way. Just a gold nugget, and then <clears throat> eight blocks of stone, and that gives you the fantasy block. So in remind, remember, it only gives you eight. So it kind of stinks, but um, as aside from the factory. Um, factory blocks. Let's see if I remember if I can do this right. I don't think this is right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so that gives you 32, but that you know, that's four iron and four stone. 
and uh, those are really cool too uh, when you get into doing your um, <coughs> excuse me your mob farms and stuff if you want to make it uh, get have that factory look factory appeal those are pretty cool but uh, enough of that that's not what we're doing we're actually going to be setting up our smeltery and it is getting dark that's going to stink let me throw some torches back up in here and kind of highlight this place up I haven't put my windows on the wall and I'll probably add in, in this little snippet at the end of uh, <laughs> why I should have it's kind of quite funny um, but I'm going to use the uh, glowstone blocks and I haven't been to the nether yet uh, like I said just getting set up and let me transform back into myself here and let's see we have our smeltery set up as you can obviously see um, just a real quick it's kind of funny I did a uh, I did a tutorial on the smeltery um, right before I had I decided to start a server and I had gotten some advice on my mic and I hope it's better tell me if it is if it's not let me know um, but I worked on my mic and uh, what I did when I was messing with the settings I actually turned on uh, play through the headset so I could hear myself and and how goofy or dumb I sounded and uh, don't do that. Uh, that that's a big no-no because -no, um, it just picks everything up back in the mic so I had a sweet sounding echo uh, through the whole video and uh, so anyways I scrapped that bad boy and and then we got the server started so here we are um, anyways just a, a quick quick little rundown um, I know for some for whatever reason some people it's uh, uh, hard to figure out like switching all you do is click it and remember it only takes from the bottom uh, so if I wanted iron I click the iron and now it'll take out the iron from the bottom um, for whatever reason as I as I was learning to do this um, it, I was reading in the comments of the videos I was watching and, and that was kind of an issue of an issue everybody was having was just trying to figure out how to switch um, but then the way I did it I've got uh, faucets running all the way around and I'm gonna get basins that'll go down here uh, so I can just pour blocks out at a time and we are actually gonna get a little started uh, we're gonna put we need a cast uh, for ingots so what I'm gonna do you just put an ingot in there and when you're doing your casts you need to use gold so we've already got some gold lined up in here and then just right click your faucet and that'll pour over the ingot and make a cast that'll harden so now what we have is this guy right here so whatever material you want you can make it in ingots um, and that comes in very handy uh, if you fill this up that will be nine ingots total um, but say I fill these two up and I have five ingots left if I go ahead and turn this faucet on it will stay wet or liquid in here until I add more material and run it through and fill it up to nine if you don't want to mess with that I hear you running around that here we yet Billy yeah he'll come peeking around um, if you don't want to mess with uh, um, having to worry about adding more and you, when you have a few ingots left inside that's when this comes in handy you can just pop out a few ingots and be done with it so um, pretty cool idea works real well obviously that's probably why they did it um, so what we are going to do I've already got this stuff made um, if you have questions there he is um, well, really, just give me a second. Let me get my knife, sword. Okay. If you have questions on the recipes, uh, I'm not going to bore everybody with it. On your search bar down here, whatever mod you're looking to do, just do the at, and then whatever mod you're looking towards. And we're doing tinkers. And I hear another guy coming in. There he is. That's the joys of not having windows. Um. But I'll tell you what, I'm, I'll be right back when after uh, it gets to daylight and we'll do this in peace and quiet here. So I'll All be right righty guys, we are back now, it is daylight, and we should be ready to rock and roll on this now. Um, I, like I said before, um, I have most of this stuff all made up. Um, there's a, one other one I'm going 
got to do still but we'll we'll do that when we do that when we get to it so the first thing uh, that I do and I kind of make everything in a line uh, as you got to work it you'll do the stencil table and what we will do here is you'll make these blank patterns very simple to make uh, and you can make those in your own inventory um, crafting station uh, and we'll make a few of them still I just have four of them made but it sticks and planks that's all there is to it and you can flip flop these Oops. Um, it doesn't matter which way they're going as long as they're diagonal and you have two sticks and two uh, planks and then we'll give us some patterns so um, you plop those in there and we're going to do something real simple first um, we're going to make a, a an axe head just a regular axe head um, so you keep clicking through these that should be it right there and you click that and that'll give us our axe head and then the next station what we'll do you put your pattern chest down and then you put your part builder and what that does is that links the two so you can you can build your stencils uh, pop them in this chest and then that way those they're readily available uh, when you're building what you want to build um, and once you get so far you will only do this you know once and you're done with it anyways but um, now if you highlight this see here it says material cost one pay attention to that because on some of them like when you get into doing the uh, the sledgehammer or the big hammer um, and you're putting your pattern your plates on there I think the cost of those is like eight so um, you got to make sure you pay attention to that when you're figuring out what you're going to be building it out of to make sure you have enough material um, but for right now it just costs one for the axe head so we put one uh, wood plank in there and that gives us this wooden axe head and this guy goes back in here for next time and what we do with the axe head and I think I'm still Batman let me change for back to myself um, you do the same thing as we did with the ingot you just put it on your casting table and you come into here and we want gold so we click gold and then we click the faucet and voila we have our cast so now you put the cast back put the cast back down and you come into here and we're going to be making this out of alumite um, it's a pretty strong um, alloy and you need obsidian aluminum and iron to make that uh, just check your books uh, when you're building your smeltery they send you the books make sure you look at those um, to you know how to build or how to make the what alloy you're trying to do but this is a pretty strong alloy we're going to use it all right so now that we have that then we come back over here and we're going to do the tool station so we right click on it and then these are your options for the tool station we're doing an axe axe head goes here and this is um, this is actually a tool rod but you can use a stick which I don't have any because I use them all but you can use a stick or what you can do is you can actually make um, you can actually make a tool rod you know what let's just do that why not you know Oop, did I pass it that's a tough tool we're not tough yet we're not tough we're working on it We'll, we'll toughen up after here after a little while. That's not it either. Keep going. That's it right there. Tool rod pattern. So we click the tool rod. We are going to be moving it into here. And we'll do the same thing. Now you see this leftover stick? That's because this is only cost 0.5. So that's, that's where that comes in. So we want the wooden tool rod. And sure, we'll take a stick. Why not? And put that guy back now uh, and don't try to put a stick in here I tried it doesn't uh, it don't fly uh, so that's that that's what we want. okay we'll take that do the same thing uh, now we we'll need to make sure we go back to gold click it and right click and voila and go back in how you might 
and shebang. Give me that. What are you doing? That looks awkward. Alright. So now we go back to our axe and we're building it. The kind of cool thing is it'll keep it in there for you. Um, but anyways, so then we build that. So that complete thing is made out of Alumite uh, mining level cobalt uh, for that type of material at speed of 8. And you have three modifiers that uh, we'll get to here in a minute. And then because of the material, it has a, a natural reinforced of 2 and it has a 6 attack damage. So we're going to click that bad boy. We got it made up. All right. Now, and I don't think I have anything ready for this because I forgot about it. Um, to do modifiers, you, you go back into here and you put it in this first uh, space here. And if you go to your materials and you book, there are a ton of modifiers that do a ton of different things. Um, so you got your emerald, your diamond. Um, your speed for you, which is redstone, auto repair, uh, auto smelt. You just keep going through those, um, and 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 pick which ones you want. Um, I'm not gonna break, give you a breakdown of of which ones to use. Uh, for me, I kind of had fun um, doing trial and error. There is one kind of a little bit of a cheat I'll show you. Um, I like using auto smelt. And sometimes it's hard to find the maw, an auto smell, I'm sorry, auto repair. And sometimes it's hard to find the moss. So if you get just regular stone out of the furnace and you put it in your chisel and then go to stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, click that guy and then go to your crafting station and fill it. There you go. Look at that. A ball of moss. Did you know that? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen anybody do it before. At least not on video. Uh, but anyways, that's that's what I like to do. Since we have that, we are going to go ahead and apply it. So we'll put it here. And you see that modifier? And you can see how green it looks here. And it tells you auto repair. Click that. And now we have auto repair on it that auto repair is very cool um, that that axe will pretty much be a, an indefinite axe um, I won't have to build another one aside from uh, if I want to make one out of cobalt or ardite which are the next uh, next two tier materials uh, and those are the strongest uh, I believe ardite's the top of the line and that's in the nether so I don't uh, I don't have any of that yet <clears throat> well we are going to get is some good old Fashion redstone and a diamond. You can use an emerald. I've only got one uh, for right now. I haven't bribed any of the villagers, and nor have I melted any of them down uh, in a very masochistic or uh, horrible way to do it. But it gets uh, gets you your emeralds. So, anyways, we have. Uh, the redstone and diamond. I'm going to put the diamond on first. That will give you, I believe, yeah, durability of 500. So click that. Uh, the redstone you got to kind of keep doing. Uh, so this will give you 9 out of 50. You click it, put it back, keep putting it back. Keep putting it back. Keep putting it back. Once you get to this point, it won't, um, we, need, we only need 5. So I've actually got to break that, uh, break a block down and just put that there and then do it this way again now do be a little careful and I'm not positive if it will actually take it up yeah, okay so it won't do it um, if you and that's kind of why I do redstone last and the same for a lapis lusa if you want to do luck on it if you if you start off with that uh, what will happen is you can you can kind of uh, stack that trait. Um, so if you have, say I have three modifiers on this hatchet, and I start off with redstone, and I get to 50, well I do it again, well it'll go, it'll add on to it. So it'll move it from, uh, it'll do your 50, and that's one modifier, 
but then it'll kick it up to 100 if you continue to do it and that'll take up another modifier spot um, so that, that'll that increase your speed your haste but it will again um, take care of another modifier spot so uh, one haste for me is plenty I mean your ear it, it does a fine job so um, that is our first Tinker's Construct weapon or tool on this mod pack, of course, or not a mod pack, I'm sorry, on this server. And there you go. Does a fine job. Look at that. Like butter. Like butter. Um, and then you'll see that uh, on the with the moss on there, uh, the green bar for the durability, it will um, it'll go away pretty quick. Uh, especially in the sunlight that's the that's how it regenerates the fastest um, so that, that's that's always a good thing to have especially on your tools um, not necessarily on your weapons uh, but but definitely on your tools and really I'm not even sure if you can put that on your weapons um, so so that's it for the basic tier um, the next one it costs a little bit more to make uh, in that what you have to do if I do this right, um, you know what? Do I have everything to do it? Ha, ah, I need a tool station. So, I think I have you. And we need another stencil. Just give me one, please. Come over and make the tool station. Okay, you go there. Now you need four blocks of solid aluminum. No, iron. And then where are my bricks at? Did I put them in there? I did. I need you. And three seared bricks on the top. That gives you tool forge. And this guy is where you can be making the mean stuff. Now this opens up um, every all your weapons and all your tools. So now we can make a Sith. Uh, we can make a excavator, uh, which will mine a three by three area. You can make uh, a lumber axe, which is the same uh, only for trees. And then you can make your hammer, uh, which again is three by three. And then you can make uh, your battle axe, cleaver, uh, a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, obviously costs more material, um, but do some wicked damage and you want to really do some sweet mining, that's uh, that's the stuff you need to build. So, um, And I believe that's all of them. Uh, that, those are all the, the, the stations that you'll need um, for Tinker's Construct to get started. And then, um, kind of a cool little thing that I'm going to do. To keep my plates and stuff um, if I remember to do it and I don't have any of the wood I wanted to do it out of don't go on it oh well um, and let's see if I remember doing this right I think it's that is it this and this and this yes it is <laughs> uh, this makes a cool shelf <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry and I'm gonna put that bad boy I'm actually just gonna kind of line them up on this wall but I'm going to put them on there, and what that will allow me to do is this stuff. Boy, that wood didn't show up very well on that. Ha, look at that. So now it's readily available. Oh, need an ingot? Sure. Pop that bad boy in there. So that works out pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to do that again all the way around. Um, kind of, I may do it on this side, uh, but kind of cool decoration. But right here is more practical because you're casting plates right there. And then you can just put it back when you're done. So uh, works pretty good. Well, I think that's it for Tinker's Construct for now. Um, again, that's just a brief and basic. Uh, if you really wanted to get into all the modifiers, and uh, it, it gets pretty in depth. Some of them you got to play with to figure out which is better. Um, you know, you got cactus for sharpness and stuff on some of your knight or your swords and uh, can increase your, your damage output. So there's a, a lot of neat stuff to do with it. Just play around with it. Have some fun. Um, again, and I think I said this in my first episode, all this stuff is just how I do it. 
Um, some of it is, yes, that's how you have to do it. Um, and then also, part of it's um, uh, personal preference. Uh, so, so play around with it. Make it your own. Have fun. That's the joys of Minecraft. Um, and uh, good grief that... Oh, because I'm out of lava. I'm like, that stuff's taking forever. Um, so, just, uh, just have fun. Enjoy it. Uh, well, I'm going to get off here, uh, end this tutorial, and uh, I will be back on. I'm going to try and get as many videos to you guys as I can. Um, I think the more practice I can get, the better. And please, uh, subscribe, like, dislike, or comment. Let me know uh, what I need to work on, uh, what you guys would like to see. And uh, um, and don't forget, we got to figure out what we're gonna, who we're going to replace Creepy Johnny with uh, for our announcer, if we need an announcer. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll, 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 we'll see. I don't know how good of a job I do, um, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get this streamlined, and, and we'll go from there. So, y'all take care, have fun, and I will catch y'all later. Noodles.